Hello and welcome to Power Play On Demand. My name is Laura. I'm here today with Ashley and Katie to give you a nine minute hit workout. Make sure you have a set of dumbbells, set them off to the side of your plate for safety. Grab some water, a towel, and we're gonna roll you through these nine minutes. First, set your plate to 30 to 35 hertz on low, and make sure that you continue to press that repeat button as needed on your personal plate to keep the plate running. For these larger plates, they'll run continuous for nine minutes on their own. All right, ladies, you ready to go? Ready. Then let's get warmed up. We're gonna sit right back into a squat and reach for an arm driver. Knees right behind the toes, tracking in the middle of the shoe, just using those arms to enhance that lift. Always keeping those knees just a little soft anytime we're up on that plate, keep that vibration in the soft tissues. And let's switch to a jog on the plate. So I've asked Katie to take some lighter impact moves. Feel free at any time to either stick with this move or switch back to a lighter impact move if you need to. Ashley, she's gonna be rolling with those higher intensity moves with more impact. So follow whoever you need to so that you can make it through the end of these nine minutes together with us. All right, team, let's go right back to those squats with that arm driver. Now move at whatever pace works best for you. That can be staying right with us as a team or move at a slightly slower pace. The key is that the vibration will do the work for you so there's no need to rush. It's gonna cause those many muscle contractions, recruiting lots of muscle fibers. And let's go back to that jog again. Now an additional thing, if you feel a little unstable, you can always turn, hold on to the column if you've got one of the larger units. Or in this case, you can see that we've got Katie near a pole, so that if she felt unstable at any time, she could hold on to that. Thanks for showing them at home. You can put a chair next to your plate. Anything that'll help you to get the most out of this workout. Couple more seconds, and three, two, one. We're going to our first hit superset. We're going to do a burpee to squat jump for 30 seconds and then jumping jacks for 30 seconds three times. Remember, Katie's going to be showing those options for a little less impact, whereas Ashley's going to be showing those more advanced or higher impact options. All right, girls, let's go. So focusing on getting that heart rate up, that's what HIIT training is all about. Kind of maximum heart rate training. We've got to step out, step in, step up, step down. Again, for lighter impact. Take this option right here. All right, girls, jumping jacks. Let's come up on the plate, reaching, staying light on the toes. So again, lighter impact here with a tap, but using those arms to really get that heart rate up. The great thing is that regardless of which choice you make, you are gonna get that metabolic effect because of the vibration of the plate. We just have so many muscles working so much more that the blood flow gets the heart rate up. We have that metabolic effect. And round two, burpees to squat jump. Now, if you are taking the option with the jump with Ashley and I, Make sure you sink into those legs, landing in a nice squat, and ideally we step down off that plate. Let's do one more. And let's go right to those jumping jacks. We should be feeling some serious heart rate right here. Maybe a little breathless. Drop that chin, open mouth breathing. Just focus on breath if you need to take a break and then jump back in, absolutely do so. The key is making it to the end. Staying with us as a team and let's do one more round.
Now, regardless of your option, focus on keeping that chest up as we step up and down. Excellent, always bracing to that core, thinking about posture, thinking about spinal alignment, and then making sure that we don't sink below that 90 degree angle in those squat jumps or in those step ups. All right, last set of jumping jacks. Come right up on the plate. Okay, I'm keeping the knees soft, regardless of the option. I might have to work these ladies harder. There's a lot of smiling going on. <laughs> now, that's what it's all about. Us working out together, having fun, smiling, absolutely. And three, two, one. All right, second superset. Again, two exercises. We're gonna do dumbbell thrusters for 30 seconds and then what's called a hip escape for 30 seconds. No worries, stay with us. We're gonna show you what's going on. So bend those knees, grab those dumbbells. Let's come up on the plate. It's basically a squat with a press. So let's sit and press. Now knees stay behind toes. And you've gotta really brace those abs. So think about taking everything in your midsection and giving your ribs a hug. Bringing those dumbbells right back to shoulder height and then driving them up. And let's do one more, set the dumbbells down. Come into what's called bear, similar to a plank. Knees are under hips. Now we're gonna have Katie stay there. Your other choice is to bring that hip out, kick that foot up, and then reach that hand right to the shoulder. So, your hip is escaping from that bare position. Always coming up into knees right under hips. And one more. All right, grab those dumbbells. Round two. This is a non-stop hip training workout. Now start focusing on breath and how the vibration is making you feel. You should have lots of heart rate challenge here, but also, tingling in the body, legs are working, arms are working, I know I'm breathing heavy, and three, two, one, back to those hip escapes, come right on down, again taking the option to perhaps hold right here or coming right in, moving at your own pace, so that might mean slow, controlled movement, only getting a couple of reps in, or you can match my pace. Should feel a bit of fire in the core. Right, Katie? And last one. One more round. Come on down, grab it, and let's go. All right, don't let fatigue get the best of you. We're in this one last round. Right, girls? Okay, hips down to knee height if you can. If low back allows for it. If you need to, get rid of the weights and stick with us with the body weight movement. And three, two, one. One last time. Do that hip escape or bear hold. Not only is our core working here, but that vibration is traveling in through that upper body, fill us through shoulders, Lats, back, triceps, biceps, and our heart. Oh my goodness. And three, two, and one. Good news. We get a stretch. Nine minutes just fly by. Come right up on the plate. Again, focusing on lengthening the muscle here. We call this a runner stretch. Lifting your hips. Keeping hands on the plate if you need to. We've got the modification here. So now you should keep your chest down, bend the knees, and then straighten. There we go. So we want to find length through the back of the leg on these. Let's switch legs. So other foot comes forward, just that staggered stance. So if you've ever seen a sprinter in a starting block, that's kind of the stance we want to have. And then we simply lift hips right to the ceiling. So if you're on one of the larger plates, again, you can come right here, holding the column. Perhaps the range of movement just needs to be a little bit shorter. 
And let's switch to a kneeling hip flexor. Come down, back knee is on the plate. We're gonna lift and open up to the ceiling, pressing those hips forward. Again, pulling that vibration up into that hip flexor, one of the really tight areas, pushing the hips forward. I can still hear you guys breathing, that's awesome. And let's switch. So thank you for joining us today on Power Play On Demand. It's all about working on that plate, optimizing our results in an accelerated fashion, really making your day worth it in these nine minutes. We hope to see you on the plate very soon.